We've always been told that intermittent fasting is good. But now an analysis by the American Heart Association claims that intermittent fasting is associated with a 91% higher risk of death due to cardiac complications. So what should we do now? Should we fast or not? Joining us on this conversation is Dr. Ranjan Shetty, Head of the Department of Cardiology at Manipal Hospitals in Bengaluru. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Shetty. Welcome. Dr. Shetty, what does this study actually say? Should we not do intermittent fasting anymore? I think this study is not conclusive. You know, it's it's difficult to jump into this um, analysis. The reason being, you know, this is an observational study. Uh, if I have to tell you that if you choose the people who are doing certain things versus people who are not doing certain things, there may be variety of reasons why people are doing certain things. These could be people who are more obese to start with. These could be the people who are diabetic and hypertension to start with. And that is why they were fasting. And now you think that they are likely to be more, the, they are likely to be more event in them. My question is only about the way the study is conducted. Why is intermittent fasting so popular? I think it is physiological. It makes a lot of sense to me and many others especially in a country like ours where the risk of diabetes is extremely high you know one third of population is diabetic one more one third is so-called borderline theoretically speaking every indian could become diabetic if he's not careful so in such a population i feel when when they do intermittent fasting 16 hours you're not stimulating your pancreas at all you know you don't take any calorie food Dr. Shetty, so is intermittent fasting for everyone? Can anybody do it? Yeah, it's not for everybody. That's the first answer. I think diabetics who are on insulin, on tablet, it's not a good uh, a good method because you could go to hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia itself is bad. It's good for obese people, especially people who snore, who want rapid weight loss. And uh, uh, probably, and just to add on, it's probably not forever, you know. You use the benefit of intermittent fasting for two to three months and then excess increase exercise, do come, you know, con uh, total calorie reduction. I think things like that work better. Doctor, what does a healthy intermittent fasting look like? I feel uh, a healthy intermittent fasting is basically you're eating for eight hours, right? So you could actually either skip a breakfast or you could skip a dinner. Now, I feel this decision depends on the person more than anything else. So what I tend to do is I ask people, are you a breakfast person or are you a dinner person? For me personally, I'm a dinner person. I could skip breakfast, but I know a lot of people, if they skip breakfast, they will have headache and things like that. So that's the first decision. If, if you are a breakfast person, then you need to have your breakfast and lunch. And, you know, you could skip, push your breakfast a little later, maybe 10 o'clock and have lunch eight hours from that lunch and dinner. So two hours is 12 plus. So by six hour, six o'clock, you finish everything. So you're having early dinner. And after that, you could take water and calorie neutral stuff. If you are a dinner person like me, what I would do is morning, as soon as I get up, I would have a green tea or a black coffee, something zero lot of water, lemon water, with, without sugar, without salt. Then keep sipping things till the actual lunch time, which if you are a evening person, exercise in the morning so that you're doing it with zero calorie. The fat burning becomes very efficient at this time. Exercise during your fasting period, there is no absolutely no glucose in your body, right? So body has to burn fat and use fat for energy. And since you're not eating immediately, it cannot replenish that energy using a glucose-based source. So rapid weight loss occurs if you exercise during the fasting period. Breaking a fast the right way is also equally important, am I right? How should one break a fast? I think it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's about protein intake, uh, in my opinion, rather than carb. So you should make sure in the 8 hours or 10 hours which you're eating, Make sure there is enough protein intake, whether it is vegetarian or non-vegetarian. You're taking some calorie. In those eight hours, uh, do not take very like sweets and you know high calorie stuff, but a usually calorie stuff is okay. 
what people tend to do is you know what actually happens is that between 14 to 16 hours when you have fasted a lot of ketones are released and people feel a high you know there's more energy than when you are not when you are eating this tends to push people to do more fasting you know they tend to, it's like it's literally addictive to do that you know you tend to probably fast for now 18 hours 20 hours because you can do it i wouldn't recommend such things you know it's important to break your fast have something at that time which is not too high in calorie but not too low too protein intake should be kept in you know is the what something which we should keep in mind what should one do to ensure good heart health in addition to fasting and exercise the first is obviously we spoke about uh, uh, you know addictions like smoking they have to be uh, completely no no it's important to reduce overall salt and sugar intake exercise and diet you have already discussed in diet again overall calorie is important what else we should do is manage stress well you know somehow you need to take regular breaks you need to uh, you know work whenever is possible but enjoy your break you need to sleep right and you need to probably add you know mental health also becomes a good part of uh, exercise all right dr ranjan shetty to summarize the conversation three key takeaways firstly the study has its limitations more research needs to be done before concluding whether intermittent fasting is good or bad for the heart secondly intermittent fasting is good in the short term it has been proven to be beneficial thirdly exercise is most beneficial when done during the fasting period thank you so much dr ranjan shetty for your time and putting that into perspective hope to collaborate with you again soon